Hey everyone, this is Chris with Elemental Play, and uh, today I'm going to unbox Nino Kuni 2, The Revenant Kingdom. This is the King's Edition, which is the European one. Um, I actually had to have this imported because I do live here in America, uh, and I can't get access to this super cool stuff. Uh, I could have gotten the American Edition, which I actually I have right now, but um, I'm, I'm going to be getting rid of it. Uh, just because this is the one that I really wanted and I didn't think I was going to get it. So I ordered the other one, not knowing that I'd be able to get this and then things worked out and here it is. Um, I am a little bit behind some other people who are unboxing this, unfortunately, uh, because I wasn't able to get it locally, but, uh, you know, here it is, here I am. Um, and I'm still going to open it for you because I'm going to play it either way. I'm really pumped about having this, um, this massive, collector's edition it's like the size of my torso uh so here is uh here's the box as you can see the the cover sleeve has this really beautiful artwork on it um they did a really great job with this this whole thing is just incredibly well done um looks like even on the side it has multiple multiple languages there there's the bottom for you. But let's uh, let's go ahead and crack into this. We'll take a look at the inside of it, see what's in there, um, depending on where I put my knife. Um, so let's get this box out of view here. I don't, I don't know what that's doing there. All right. Um, so we got to get around the sleeve first. I, I don't like I don't like stickers. Stickers are terrible. Nobody should use stickers but they used stickers. So we are going to cut the stickers with precision and see if we can get them off. Well, we won't get the stickers off, but we can get through them, I guess. There's one part. All right, oh, we're making some progress. There we go. They're really tight on here. Normally this isn't such an issue. You can normally get a, uh, a knife under stickers like this pretty easily, but these ones are right up against it uh, to the point where I'm gonna end up damaging the sleeve if I'm not careful, actually. All right, all right, I got those. Um, two on the bottom too, obviously. Why wouldn't there be? These ones aren't as bad, actually. These are These are more like I expect the stickers to be with a little bit of room around them. So I can actually squeeze the knife in between because, you know, people have to open this. All right. All right. All right. All right. Slide that sleeve off. Oh, look at that. The front has got similar art. Still, still like that. Then on the back, we've got this, this beautiful crest of some sort. And, uh, we can go ahead and open this box. I'm gonna try and hold it on my lap here so that everyone can see what we're looking at. Open that right up. And inside here, right on the top, we have, uh, I believe this is our record uh, cover. So there is a vinyl in here that is pretty neat. Oh no, this isn't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, this is the, you know what? I think this might be the case for the vinyl. So it has a pop-out standee. That's very cool. I can't really see it myself. Oh, that's awesome. I don't even I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. It's just going to sit in this box. Let's be honest. That's that's what I'm going to do with it. Um All right, I'm going to have to set this down to show this off. There's a, there's a lot going on in this set. So for this one I'm going to have to find someone who has a record player. Um, ooh, actually, no, I'm never going to play this, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, my dad has a record player, so that wouldn't be that much of an issue, but... Um, oh, this is so nice. All right. It's in this black sleeve here, and we have a, a painted vinyl. Um... It does have actual tracks on it, but I don't, 
I don't know how it's playable because I, I can't see the grooves. I don't know if this comes off or what the trick is. I, I don't know. Um, I, it's probably going to stay like this for as long as I own it. But this is this is pretty cool. This this whole painted vinyl is really nice. Well, they call it, I guess they call it painted, but it's really just covered. Oh, you know what? The center is playable. That's what it is. Um, the center section here is has the has the raised grooves. All out here is not raised, so you can't play it. But this actually has the grooves on it. Um, I think for playing. So that's really beautiful. That is uh, that is the town that the main character comes from, the city, I guess, uh, that he's booted from at the beginning of the game. Let's slide that back into its case here, if I can. And then we'll put this back into this sleeve where it belongs. And then we can still fight me a little. There we go. All right. And then we can move on to the next piece. So the next item in here is our Art of Nino Kuni book. Uh, in this case, it looks like they put a little little tag under here, so that does help quite a bit with getting into here. So this is a beautiful uh, full art book. And again, we'll push this out of the way so that I can show it off. This is really quite nice. I'm going to move a little closer to the camera so that you can see it. I'm not gonna go through the whole book, but I'm gonna show off a little bit of what's in here. So this is a lot of full art from the game. Um, you've got your main character here, Evan. Um, he's a cute little character. He's a young uh, cat boy, I guess. He's a prince uh, or a king. I haven't played the game yet. I don't know entirely, um, but he is your main character. or the, at least the character the game revolves around. Um, I'm not sure if he's the main one you play. Here is uh, Tina. Oh, I think I, I think I missed a page in between. I'm sorry, that's Tanny, not Tina. Um, Roland. This is, uh, I think this might be the character you start as. Again, not, not totally sure. You can see all the little designs in here. I'm gonna skip ahead a little. Some of the dragons and we have some, some, uh, Higgledies. These are uh, these are your new familiars in this game. They're a little bit different. They remind me a little bit of Pikmin, um, for those who have played that. But they're cute little characters. Um, so that is your beautiful art book. Uh, you can see it's level five in Bandai Namco. Um, really a great company combination there. So that to the side. All right. Um, next in here, so we've got we've got I think just the two more items. I could be wrong. Um, first, we'll take out the game. So here's here's Nino Kuni. Here's your game. Ta-da! This is what you buy if you uh, uh, if you just go to GameStop and pick it up. I'm gonna have to get a new computer at some point. I keep dealing with these stalling issues. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's uh, you know nothing nothing crazy about that. That's your that's your in-store edition game. Hmm. Yep. All right. And then the next piece that we have here is a steel book cover. Um, that's really quite nice. You've got. Uh, You've got Roland and Evan here. I don't see. I don't see Tammy on the cover for whatever reason. I don't know what that's about. Um, oh, and this this actually has your making of CD in it, so that makes sense. Um, and let's see. But you can also put the game in here if you like. There's an empty slot. And there's some cards here. Oh, they're little postcards. How cute! I didn't even realize these were here. Postcard, postcard. So they're kind of, they're kind of neat, huh? Okay. 
that's enough of those. Then next, I guess I can just put that right back here and uh, the game can go right back here. And then last, but certainly not least, this is actually the entire reason I wanted this edition. In here, we've got, um, this has a music box in it. Surprise, spoilers. Um, so let's, you can, you can see the art on that box there. Really, really nice art. I really love the effort that they put into this game and they knew they knew it was going to be popular. So, um, let's see if I can get in here without doing too much damage. Uh, I do hate these little tabbed boxes. I can never get them open right. Um, and this one's going to be just as much of an issue. So let's see. Uh, if anyone has a good way to open one of these, let me know because I don't know how to do it. Um, I'm gonna try it like this. Hey, that worked. Okay, all right, that was that was a good idea. <laughs> ah, boy. Oh, this is awesome. This is this was well worth waiting a few extra days, in my opinion. Um, maybe not to everyone, but in my opinion. All right. And I drop it in the shatters. Uh, that'd be terrible. Um, all right, so it's stored nicely in this case here. And here we have the music box. Um, this is, in my opinion, the coolest thing about the European edition. Um, I wanted this from the second I saw it. I, I didn't care about the little. Uh, they give you a little diorama in the in the U.S. one. This is this is what I wanted. Um, let's play it. We'll we'll let it we'll let it play a little. Let's turn it up. I guess we'll just let that play. Oh, oh, or it's gonna end. That was it. All right, perfect timing. Um, so that is uh, that is the Nino Kuni Two Collector's Edition. Uh, I'm I'm ecstatic about this. This game is going to be so great. Um, I think. I hope. Uh, this is this is a game I've been waiting for for months. It was supposed to come out in like November, and then it got pushed back and pushed back and pushed back, and. Uh, I'm finally getting it. I finally have it in my hands. I finally get to play it. Uh, the last game I played absolutely to completion. It plays in the same world with different characters. Um, I'm t I hear there's some references, but you don't have to play the first game to, to know and understand the second one. This game is a standalone. Um, and it looks like they really did an amazing job with it. I'm so excited to play this. I'm going to see if I can stream it. Um, on my uh, on my YouTube, I've never done that before, but I'll try and play at least a couple play sessions with it on there. Uh, as long as they didn't pull the the garbage that um, that they pulled for Persona Five, where you couldn't you couldn't stream it. Um, I, I don't I don't know why they did that, and I really hope that no one else does that because Persona Five was a very fun game, and uh, they really kind of made me mad for that. Streamers should be able to to show off these games that they bought, but that's a rant for another day. Um, this is Nino Kuni 2 with Revenant Kingdom. Um, I am not, I swear, I am not a paid advertiser. Go buy this game though. Go buy the first one, buy this one, play them. If you like an RPG, these are fantastic games. Um, but I will stop, I will stop my rant. Uh, I am going to, uh, to listen to this music box again because I love it. And uh, you all have a, have a great day. Um, Thank you for watching as always. Make sure to um, like, share, subscribe, um, and, uh, and come back. I'll, I'll keep putting up videos if you keep watching them. Um, comment, talk to me. I try to respond. Um, thank you. Thank you all.
拜。